Hi, we're Dad, you're watching the Grand Podcast and hit the back. So Dad, hello, how are you guys hello. doing? Hey man. Tired, yeah. not bad, tired and happy. Good, it's yeah. really odd playing a set at 1.15 in the afternoon, but I find out it's also really fun. This is a great set. It's really, really, really good. Day. Yeah, well, people, people are surprisingly energetic at 1.15. <laughs> Our worlds usually start about 2. <laughs> so, um, do you have a, was there a decent sized crowd and stuff? Yeah, it was in the, insane. Like, we don't know, uh, we're, we're like, very passionate in like, flyering and uh, being hands on. Like, uh, we're a small band, and it's important for bands to actually go up to people and like talk to them about music and if you're into what they're into, and vice versa. They'll probably come check you out. I think that really helped us like, fill out the room today. But, I mean, there were people there who knew all the words, which is always awesome. And uh, how was yesterday in Bristol? Yeah, also surprisingly good. Not so like we didn't expect it to be bad, but we just didn't expect so many people, which is kind of amazing. yeah, it was a nice surprise after a, a rush drive. We got there like 15 minutes before our set. <laughs> yeah, we, were, we <laughs> almost missed it completely. Like, was like getting up late. No, <laughs> yeah, traffic and us. <laughs> we, we had the best intentions. We actually did put a few tweets up from the the band accounts, being like. Like how do we get a police escort? It was kind of a joke, but we were kind of hoping like one fan would come back being like, oh, my dad's a policeman. It didn't work. But you made it in the end? We made it in the end, yeah. So how does it feel to be on something like Hit Deck, which is, you know, loads of bands have um, kind of had their sort of big first step, I guess, from here, like Young Guns, yeah, it did really well. It does very much people. feel like a right of passage. Like, and is like playing stages like this, it kind of feels like a taste of what's to come. Like that sounds really arrogant. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, it's it's kind of like obviously we're always looking up, we're always going to do bigger things, and this just makes us want to do it more. Yeah, we're still learning the festival circuit kind of thing. Like the only experience we have of playing is like uh, one little stage of the Isle of Wight Festival, and then our hometown festival takedown. And you know, so this is our first experience of another you know, small little festival that doesn't have camping, and this is insane. It's such a cool vibe. It's like actual music fans. Yeah, yeah, which is like really hard to come by at a lot of the bigger festivals. And yeah, it's new to festivals, so I've lost so much of that thought. Yeah. <laughs> What's it like being sort of counted among, you know, bands like Frank Hero or you know, Kent's Band really, and stuff like that? Nice. And you're kind of included yeah. in the same package. Well, like where we're, well, kind of young, I guess, yeah. compared to some other bands we literally grew up listening to a lot of these bands like Watch the Sleeps and stuff like that so to be lumped in with them like even just walking into things like this it's like Cantor Bats obviously you gotta keep it cool but there is that bit <laughs> there is that bit that it's like I grew up listening to these bands so.